Hey guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for your continued support. So it's something a little different today guys, something different we're going to talk about and that is the mirror of Erised and what certain characters from Harry Potter would see if they looked through the mirror. So I'm going to do 3 characters per video just because it makes the video more desirable to watch and if you want to watch again in the future you can skip to your favourite character. So the mirror of Erised, the mirror of desire. Everything your heart desires reflected back at you from the moment you take your first glance. So I'm going to be looking at Molly Weasley, Sirius Black and Remus Lupin. Three people that I feel would have really interesting reflections from the mirror. Anyway guys, let's not wait any longer. Molly, Sirius, Remus, Mirror of Erised. Let's do it. Before the video begins, I'd just like to highlight for those of you who may want to check out my personal life, which does include Harry Potter stuff, that I do have an Instagram where I post lots of photos that you can view. It's also the best way to contact me if you have a question or even a video idea. I may not reply immediately, but I'll try my best to get back to you all. You can check it out from the link in the description below. Enjoy the video. Welcome back guys, so let's start with Molly Weasley. So what would Molly see if she looked through the mirror of Erised? Well, the thing about Molly is, she's a strong, caring woman and her wealth is in her family. That's what means everything to her. She doesn't desire more than what she has. She doesn't lust after the finer things in life. Her true happiness is being a mother. Now that's not to say Molly doesn't qualify to desire, because everyone has desires. She lost a lot more than most due to war. Both wars actually. She declines to join the Order of the Phoenix, most likely due to pregnancy, but her brothers Fabian and Gideon did in fact join the Order. They were highly skilled wizards and were very effective, but unfortunately were ambushed and outnumbered by Antony Dolohov and a group of Death Eaters. The death of both her brothers devastated Molly. I believe that would be something she definitely see in the mirror of Erised. Her two brothers, standing beside her with children of their own. Something Molly would obviously welcome as she was a fantastic mother herself. Now of course there's someone else Molly would also see if she looked through the mirror and that's her son Fred who was a casualty of the second wizarding war during the battle of Hogwarts. Losing Fred really took its toll on her. No mother should ever have to lose a child and only for the loving support Molly had surrounded herself with I really feel that she may not have had the strength to pull herself together. So for Molly I think she'd see her brothers and her son standing side by side, but there's also one more person I think she'd see too, and that's George. Now you might be thinking, well why George? He's still alive and kicking. Well I imagine she'd see George doing nothing but smiling, full of happiness as he's alongside his brother Fred. After Fred's death, George was never really the same, laughter didn't have the same sound it once did. So that's the third thing I think she'd like to see. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the Molly segment as we move on to the next character, Sirius Black. Now I love Sirius Black, I think he's such a cool guy and I really love how Gary Oldman portrays him in the movies. Sirius is incredibly loyal to those he loves and cares about. He'd have willingly died for his friends and he was truly devastated by Wormtail's betrayal. Now I know Sirius is gone. But I think I have a good idea of what he would see if he looked in the mirror of Erised, so let's go from there. With Sirius, he had a difficult upbringing. He hated the pure blood ideology and how his parents gave him no choice but to abide by it or basically be kicked out of the family. It also really bothered him how the teachings alienated him from his younger brother Regulus, who at first was warped by the idea of pleasing his parents. I think that's the first thing he'd see when looking through the mirror. Himself and Regulus, standing side by side, on the right team, standing against Voldemort. It hurt Sirius to think his brother became a Death Eater and he died believing Regulus died under the servitude of the Dark Lord, when in actual fact he didn't. Regulus died a hero, something I hope was rectified in the afterlife when the two would meet again. 
I think another sight in the mirror's reflection would show Sirius alongside James, Remus and Peter. Yeah, you've read that right, even Peter. Sirius was devastated by Wormtail's betrayal as I've mentioned earlier. He truly was as he valued loyalty over everything. His happiest time was when he was with his best friends, all together, something that he knew he'd never see again. That was what meant more to Sirius than anything. His friends, who were basically his family. The final reflection I think Sirius would see is something that I don't believe many of us have thought about and I'm going to be expanding on it in a video later in the week and that's Sirius seeing the one person he'd always loved or some sort of love interest. Has anyone ever wondered why Sirius never settled with anyone or was never even paired with anyone or was never even mentioned in the same sentence as anyone? I think it's possible he did have someone and that's who he'd see staring back at him. Or who knows, maybe it's just me who thinks that. Moving on to the last character, but certainly not the least, we've got Remus Lupin, who was one of my all-time favourite Harry Potter characters. I think his story is beautifully written. Even though he died, he died protecting the world for the sake of his child, just like Harry's parents did for him. What a guy. Anyway, what would Remus Lupin see if he looked into the mirror of Erised? Well, many of us already know, Remus hated his lycanthropy. It affected his self-esteem and he thought so little of himself. But he hated the beast within him. I think if he looked through the mirror, he'd see his werewolf form standing beside his human form before it simply disappears. That's his biggest desire, to be rid of his lycanthropy, to feel like he's worth something. It's all he's ever wanted since he was five years old probably one of the youngest werewolves in existence at the time and still probably holds one of the records as one of the youngest people ever infected too. Remus would also see himself, James, Lily and Tonks together enjoying each other's company even though that was probably the case in the afterlife. He missed James and Lily dearly. They gave him so much support. They helped him out greatly. They even gave him an allowance to live on as he could not find work due to werewolf prejudice. He feels partially responsible for not being able to prevent their deaths as he felt like he owed them so much. It hurts him to see Harry without his parents too. Remus truly desired acceptance amongst his friends. He always worried what people closest to him thought of his condition. The last desire I can think of when I see Remus Lupin looking through the mirror of Erised is his son. His son Teddy, all grown up and healthy without ever contracting lycanthropy at any point in life, not just from a hereditary stance. His biggest fear was Teddy going through the same struggles that he went through, so I imagine him standing beside his son, watching him change his appearance in the manner his mother could, and Remus having a smile on his face. So guys, with that being said, that is my video on what those three characters would see if they looked through the mirror of Erised. Molly, Sirius and Remus. If there's anything that you'd like to add for any of them, then please do so in the comments section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Everyone, notifications of uploads are more important than ever. So please, if you haven't already, turn those notifications on to make sure you're notified the moment my video goes live. Making videos is what I love to do, it's my dream and my passion, however it does cost time and money to produce this content, so if you have a dollar to spare to support me on Patreon in exchange for some exclusive unseen content, then you can click the Patreon link below or at the end of this video. Please only support me if you can afford it. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at instadnj and on Twitter at potterfolklore. Check out my other videos appearing on screen and please make sure, most importantly, to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again everyone and please have a great day.